And just like that, we are back again. Now, as you guys know, if you watched the last video, I built a 2024 Chevy Silverado 3500. And actually, I built two 2024 Chevy Silverado 3500 HDs because I always like to build two trucks and I like to go through it, check things off, see what the options are, and then build a second one, typically a higher trim level, and just see the price difference. Now, in this video, you're going to see pricing. You're going to see some of the options. I'm going to show you as much as I can possibly show you to not make this video too boring because it's a lot of stuff. It's like seven pages of options and features. So I will try to break it down quickly. With that being said, if you know anybody that works at Ram, you need to send them this video because this pricing is, from what I've been told, pretty close to what it will be when they actually unveil the pricing for the truck. So you don't know of any pricing currently right now. So in this video, you're gonna see what the dealership showed me online. And I'll show you two trim levels in this video. And then in the next couple videos I do, I'm gonna show you pricing for 2,500 and 3,500, show you some of the options again, and then I will compare my build to my 2023 Ford F-350. I cannot wait to go into this video. If you know someone at Ram, you need to send this video, guys, because this pricing is, let's just say, for a truck that was redesigned three years ago, and now a truck that's been refreshed, and has a better interior, and has more power, more torque, across the board, this is a very bad time for Ram. Now before we get started, if you haven't done so yet, be sure to watch the latest video I did on this 2023 Toyota Tundra. I know you guys like my HD stuff, but this is actually a really good video that I did towing my black trailers here in Utah. Be sure to check that video out. The first thing you guys are gonna see here is the first page for the build sheet. It's gonna show you the exterior and interior colors and a few other things. So I will go over the colors here in a second, but I did like three of the colors on here. I like the iridescent pearl tricoat. It's the most expensive paint, but it does have that pearl white and I think GM has the best. I also like the meteorite metallic and I was looking at Lakeshore Blue. Now, if you don't know, I did get antimatter blue with my Ford. So I did not want blue on this truck. So you guys will see the color that I picked in a second, but as far as the interior colors go, you can see those there. As far as the GBWR goes, they did not change it for the single rear wheels. These are pretty much the same. And do you guys see how much the Duramax diesel costs now? is 9890 So the price of the diesel, even though they've done some updates to it, has not gone up much in price. It's still under $10,000, which is really cool. Now, as far as the gas engine goes, there's no extra cost because it is the standard engine. And let's go ahead and jump over to the second page. The transmissions are different for the gas in HD. Now I'm only basing that off of the code that they use on the side there. So transmission, Allison 10 speed automatic is an MGM. And then for the gas truck is MKM. So there has to be some differences between the transmissions. GM hasn't come out and said it, or maybe those codes have nothing to do with changes. Maybe they just say, hey, the MKM is for the gas and the MGM is for the diesel. But nevertheless, they do have different codes, which hopefully in the future we'll find out whether they did some updates to the transmission. There's nothing new for the axle ratios. You're still gonna have a 373 for the gas, 342 for the diesel. And here's some tire sizes. Now I am going to probably do a blackout and you'll find out in the video here. I did put an asterisk by the black wheels just in case, cause I was gonna compare pricing for some of the packages versus just getting a black wheel. And you guys will see here in a second, there's also a black essentials package that you can do to black out the emblem. So just keep that in mind. And that's pretty much it on this page. So like I said, just take a moment, look through it, but let's go ahead and get to the third page. Third page is gonna show you uh, just some running boards and some other features here. So I do want the power retractable steps. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on my Ford build. So I wanna do the same thing, but as you guys can see, these steps are $2,295 if you get them black or if you want the bright 
trim chrome piece on them is a little bit cheaper. You would think the chrome would be more expensive, but they know that more people are going to want those black running boards. And I did put a star next to the upfitter switches because I did want that for 150 bucks. You do have to offer the sunroof on the LTZ 995, and then gooseneck and fifth wheel prep package is $1,340. Now, as far as your packages go, I do have to go back to the dealership and clarify some of this. I may build one more truck with him. Do you see where it says technology package? And then if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the uh, LTZ convenience package two, LTZ premium package, and then there's also a plus package. So the premium package basically gives you the technology, the convenience, and the plus. And I'm gonna show you guys what that entails here. Now it's a little grainy, because I did take a picture of it on his computer screen, so I apologize. But it basically has everything listed right there for you. So I'm not gonna go through all this because it's a lot, but some of the notable things that I definitely wanted was bucket seats. So on the LTZ, bucket seats are an option. Um, so that center console is included with this package. I do like the heads up display and I did want it on my next one. The heated Second row outboard seats. You know, my kids are getting older, so I'm sure they would like those features because at some point they won't be in boosters anymore. The premium sound system I do like. Adaptive cruise control is a nice feature to have, especially if you're towing. And yeah, ventilated driver front passenger seat. I definitely wanted that too. So a lot of the things that you see are in individual packages. So it's $7,000 to get that. And that's why the LTZ is kind of hard to swallow because you have to offer so many different things on this truck that comes standard on the high country which you'll see here in a second but we won't go too much more on this like i said i do want to get the dual alternators i do need to go back and have him add that because i don't think he put those back on my last build but let's go ahead and jump over to the next page i did skip the multi-flex tailgate because i like it on my gmc but I don't find it useful for me. Like, I don't really use my bed other than to tow my fifth wheel and maybe carry my generator or wheels or something like that I might have to take somewhere for the most part, but I don't really use my bed like some people do. So I just prefer to have the standard tailgate because you get the up and down function with power. And that's why I skipped the multi-flex. If the multi-flex did have the power for it to go back up again, I would just get it again because it is nice to have but that tailgate's kind of heavy too so i might actually pick up some payload not getting it as well let's just move on i think this is the last page here so i did circle on this one the z71 sport edition and midnight edition let me give you guys some bad news here if you want midnight edition you cannot get any other color other than black so if you get midnight, it's black on black, and that's it. You can't get white, you can't get anything else. Now, the Z71 Sport Edition gives you similar function, so it's not all loss. But even with these packages, you cannot get a different interior color. So there is a navy blue color that I really wanted to try out. I believe it's on the first page that you guys saw. It was called Night Shift Blue with the perforated leather seating. I definitely wanted that interior color because on my Ram, I had something very similar with my Limited. It was like the navy blue and like the cream color. I actually liked it. A lot of people don't like it, but I prefer lighter interior colors because when you travel like I have in the past, you learn to love the lighter seats because they don't get as hot and they're easier to cool when you use a ventilated function. For time's sake, I will show you guys a spreadsheet at the end of this video here. That way you can see both my builds. But without further ado, here is the truck that I ordered. You ready for this? This is a 2024 Chevy Silverado 3500 High Country. It's gonna be a standard bed, and the paint is the iridescent pearl. So this is the pearl white paint. As I said in other videos, if I had the budget to get a Ram, I would've done red, white, and blue. And the Ram would obviously have been dumb monocle red. But nevertheless, maybe in the future we could do something like that. But the Ford is antimatter blue. This one's gonna be white. They'll still look good together. And maybe if I can get a truck 
at some point just for testing. I can put them all together. It'd be kind of cool to do a test like that. But here are all the options that I picked. We're gonna go through them pretty quickly. So upfitter switches were 150 bucks. I definitely wanted that. It gives you five. Um, I did get the all weather floor mat liners, which I have in my GMC. I definitely wanted those, they're super nice. LPO stands for dealer installed option. Now LPO obviously is not the acronym, but that's what that basically means, okay? And do you guys see how much the power retractable running boards are? They're $1,100 on this truck, but remember on the LTZ, they're $1,895. I don't know why they are so much more money for the LTZ. It doesn't make sense to me, but they are. Also, the Gooseneck 5th one prep package is $795 on the LTZ. It was like $1,300. And I did do the Dark Essentials because, as I mentioned, I wanted that blue interior color. So I did get that color for the interior but I did not get the black out because you had to get the black paint and you could not get the dark blue interior color either if you got the midnight edition. So that's why I did not get it. I would have gotten the black paint if I could have gotten that interior, but they wouldn't let me build it that way. So I was like, screw it. I'll just get a white truck, which I, I actually prefer that anyways. I got the dark essentials to black out the uh, emblems and some of the stuff on the truck and then I also got the high country premium package and everything that you see comes a part of that package there and lastly I did get the high gloss black aluminum wheels because I did want the black wheels even though there's gonna be a little bit of chrome I feel like taking off those chrome wheels and putting the black ones on it'll still look nice especially with the black essentials with the pearl paint with that navy blue dark interior it should look really cool now I did not see a sunroof on here, but on the next page I'm gonna show you guys, I believe it does come with the sunroof standard. I did have to opt for the clearance lights because I forgot about them. They're 55 bucks, guys. I mean, I know that some people prefer not to have them, but I like them on HDs. I mean, if I was to buy a half ton truck, I would never add that, even if it was an option. That's pretty much my build, but let's go ahead and take a look at the truck side by side so you guys can see the options the total options i'm not going to show you outline but i'll just show you a number with the total options and that'll pretty much end this video now as far as pricing goes the base price for a chevy silverado high country is going to be seventy two thousand two hundred dollars now that does not include the destination of 1895 so if you add the destination that's going to be seventy four thousand and ninety five dollars now, as far as my pricing goes, this is $81,834. All right. So right out of the gate, if you were to buy a highest trim level Ram, you're going to be already at about 90 grand. Now, keep in mind that does include a diesel. They no longer allow you to do a gas engine with a limited. However, on the LTZ side of the house, you guys see here, 62.4 is the starting price. Add the destination at 18.95, it's gonna give you $64,295. Now you guys can see that this price for the options is $14,950. I'm gonna go over that with you guys in a second. But here's the total price, it's $79,245. So $79,245, okay? So what's the difference between these two? Let's look at it real quickly. So here is the difference between these two. One thing I will mention here is you have pretty much the exact same options as the high country with the exception of the dark essentials. I did not add the black wheels on this, but I added the Z71 Sport Edition. That way I can get the blackout of the truck and then get the black wheels. So I did not opt this with the 20 inch black wheels. Now keep in mind, they typically give you 18, so I probably would have had to upgrade to the 20, which I would have preferred. Although I will say after driving the red one I did a review on not long ago, I actually don't mind the 18s. They actually look nice and the tire that they give you is pretty nice too. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Be sure to stay tuned in for the next videos I do. I am going to compare the pricing for 2500 and 3500 2024 Chevy HDs. That way you guys have an idea. And some of you have some questions about a like beefier 2500. I will address that in that video. I'm still doing a little bit of research with the dealership on that. And um, yeah, 
I will also do a video comparing my Chevy High Country to my Ford Platinum. So you don't want to miss that one too. But be sure again, subscribe, make sure your bell notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next video.